Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tic Tac Tyco. A few months ago, I reviewed the Tyco One, Roland's first electronic Tyco. And I thought this week it would be fun to talk about the different equipment that I've collected in the months since then. So if you have a Tyco One, if you're interested in the Tyco One, or if you're just curious as to what you can do with the Tyco One, this video is for you. It's important to remember that the Tyco One does not make its own sounds. I mean, sure, if I hit it, you can hear it, but that's just impact. To hear the sounds in the sound banks, you're going to have to plug the Tyco One into one of three kinds of things. You can use the headphone jack to plug it into headphones or earbuds or even small personal speakers. You can use the USB port to plug it into the computer, which is what you're going to use if you're going to record and do any kind of composition work. And finally, there's the quarter inch output jack, which you'll use if you want to plug this into an amp or amplifier. Here's something that's really good to know about amps, something I didn't know before I started doing research. There are many different kinds of amps. Each one is specific to a different instrument. You have acoustic guitar amps, electronic guitar amps, bass amps, keyboard amps, drum amps, and combo amps. Each one of these amps is designed to accentuate the frequency and range of its particular instrument. For a drum amp, which is really used for electronic drums, you're able to capture a wide range from the bassier, boomier stuff to the higher piercing stuff. Think Odaiko and Kane. And the drum amp is designed so that the speakers in it don't blow out when you hit something loud and percussive, unlike some of the other amps. Having said that, it's unlikely you're going to damage a non-drum amp using a Tyco One, but if you want the best sound quality from your Tyco One, you're gonna to wanna to use a drum amp. The amp that I use is the Simmons 2108. It's not expensive for a drum amp, but it means you're not gonna have as many bells and whistles but most of us aren't gonna need that much. If you do need more, if you need something more powerful, then you probably know a lot more about amps than I do. Up in front, we have some simple controls, your master volume, auxiliary volume, and your highs and lows, which are essentially your equalizer. You have a button here to let the amp know if it's on the floor or if it's up on a pole, which will give it different sound qualities. You've got your Bluetooth on and off button, auxiliary, microphone, and headset. And in back, it's pretty standard. You've got your power, you've got two mono inputs, and mono is what you're going to want. Don't ask me why, I just know that's what they like. You can have Tyco One in here, and maybe another Tyco One. Maybe you've got two. Uh, you have a device which lets it know if it's by itself, or if you have a second amp, which means it would broadcast in true stereo, and a couple of XLR inputs and outputs, and without going into detail, XLR is a very common cable type that you'll find often with microphones. The 2108 can be set up also on its side this way, which is really convenient, and it's pretty light. It's only 20 pounds. One last thing about amps, and this is the most important part. Even if your amp like this one is Bluetooth enabled, it will not talk to the Tyco One. The Tyco One is Bluetooth enabled, but it is not made to broadcast over Bluetooth. It is only made to receive via Bluetooth. So if you want your Tyco One to work with an amp, you're going to have to either connect it physically with a cable or with the wireless setup. The last thing we're gonna do in this section is compare a personal portable speaker that you would plug into the headphone jack versus a full-fledged amp, the Simmons that I've been talking about.
All right, let's talk wireless. I have the X Vive U2 wireless system, which says guitar, but it works just fine for the Tycho One. It comes with a pair of devices. One is a transmitter, one is a receiver, and it's got a really nice swivel function so that you can plug it in at any angle you'd like. They're really light, so when you get this plugged into the Tycho One and tuck it in a little bit, you won't notice it, no one will see it, and because the weight is so light, you won't feel it when you play. Getting this to work was probably the easiest thing I've had to deal with in terms of equipment. You've got one switch that turns it on and off, and then you have one button. It blinks one, two, three, or four times. That determines the channel it's on. You push the button and it changes how many times it blinks. You make sure the other one is blinking the same number and they'll talk to each other. Pretty simple. The cool thing about that is not every wireless system has multiple channels. So you could have four pairs of these and have each one talking to one specific device and they won't interfere with each other. I almost forgot one thing. Let's say you have this system and you buy something else to transmit from or you want something else to receive too. You don't need to buy another pair of these. You can buy a single transmitter or a single receiver, and that way you can have two things talking to one or one thing talking to three. With this system, you can do just that, and that is very cool. These are supposed to last for five hours on a single charge. Coincidentally, the Tycho One is supposed to last for five hours with its battery pack. So if that's true, it's really nice. You are able to recharge these with a cable that comes with the package. It plugs into both at once, and that's handy as well. There's a couple of things I wanna end with. First, even though it says it has a 100 foot range, some of the things I've read online say it's only about 70, if that, which is a little less than a comparable model. So that might be an issue for you, maybe not. And finally, every wireless device comes with some kind of latency. And latency is the term for the lag between when you strike and when you hear it. This device says it's under six milliseconds of latency, which means odds are you're not gonna be able to tell. The only time you might notice, and I stress might, is if you're playing the Tycho One along with real Tycho, which is being played in real time. But due to the nature of Tycho, I really doubt that you'll be able to tell the difference. Still, it's worth mentioning because it's something that most of us don't think of. We're used to hitting and hearing at the same time. You might like using the Tycho One wirelessly, and why wouldn't you? It's convenient and it's really easy to set up. But there are going to be times when you don't want it wireless. When that happens, you're gonna want quarter inch cables. Quarter inch cables are the workhorse of music hardware. If you go to a music store, you'll find a wall full of these cables. They're really common. I suggest something longer than you think you might need at first. This one's 10 feet. It's way longer than anything I need it for, but it's easy to shorten the longer cable. You can't lengthen a short cable. I also recommend not buying the cheapest, most budget-friendly cable. You don't necessarily need gold-plated, fancy signature cables, but cable quality often determines audio quality. And there you have it an assorted collection of equipment that you can use with a Tycho One to make your experience better. I was not paid, this is not sponsored, this is just equipment that I've collected that I find useful. Some of this is invaluable and I would not enjoy using a Tycho One without, and some of it is optional, it's kind of for fun and things that I'm still figuring out as I play. If you have any questions about what I've shown today, or you want to know alternatives to what I have, or if you have technical questions, please reach out. I will reply even though I may not have the answers. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, let me know. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, the button's just down there, go ahead and hit that, make my day. And until next time, keep on practicing and be well.